Franco Mendez. He's the guy who rented the Doc's apartment on Marble Street. I better be careful. He might be the killer. Everything's gonna be all right. I find the guy, I ask a few questions, and then I get the hell out. Still haven't gotten over my encounter with Dr. Death. I have nothing against techno, trance, whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. Paco Mendez, the guy the doc lent his apartment to. Not the kind of guy you take home to mom anytime soon. I'm gonna ask him a few questions. Bartender. I don't know where I can find Paco. Late school for the jet set. Not really my kind of hangout. If this Paco is one of the buddies of Dr. Death, then I better watch my step. Bartender says Pot goes in the VIP lounge. A section reserved for select guests. Shouldn't be too hard to find. I've got to speak to Paco! That's not possible! Mr. Mendez has asked not to be disturbed. like his girl sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk to Paco. I gotta find someplace to change. Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. I'm gonna have to think of something else. Maybe I could catch his attention by strutting my stuff nearby. Time to play the sexy girl.
I say if you got it, flaunt it. Time to swing my hips and get a little rise out of Paco. Now, lover boy, let's see if you can resist this. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah, I like the way you move, Madison. You're making me all hot under the collar. Well, maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, sure, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> now just follow him to his office. Everything is going to be all right. I have a plan. I know exactly what I'm doing. This guy is truly revolting. Ugh! This is no time to get squeamish. Even if my legs do feel like they're about to give way. I'll just follow him to his office. go in, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything is going to be alright. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> I'll take that. Just get in the way of the good thing, sweet cheeks. So, show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off, baby. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. Uh, uh, could, could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice? Oh, we already broke the ice, Mom. Let's get wet. Come on. Do your thing, girl. I'm sorry, um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look, uh, I, I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. And I never take never for an answer. Thank you. 
Do what it takes, Mad. Play for time. Think of something. There's got to be some way out of here. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know! Baby, sweet case. You got it going, huh? That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. Okay, act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're gonna know balls when I gush up with you. Fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! Boss? Is everything alright? If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, ah, what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, uh, I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name, I swear! Oh, ah! Ah! Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciate this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. Time to get out of here. Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> Next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick up to his office. The name he gave me. John Shepard. Could that be the name of the killer? I guess I'll soon find out. How about that? You didn't do too badly now, did you, girl? <laughs>